My name is Guido Zucconi. I was born in the second, in, in the last century, <laughs> in the first part, in the early part of the, of the last century, and I used to teach at the UL, which is the Department of Architecture. My field of interest concerns um, 19th, 20th century architecture and urban history, and uh, I would like to come here and uh, speak about uh, 19th uh, century architecture, also because uh, I would like to speak uh, of Venice and its history in a different way, which is not related to the traditional cliché of uh, Venice dying, Venice in agony, Venice as a source of Venice. I would like to explain another kind uh, of Venice, which was a Venice which tried to be on tune with the time. And this is the second part uh, of my class. Uh, the class uh, will be put on the continental divide between a period of, uh, we can say, of a golden period for the 18th century, and that part of the course will be led by Isabella di Leonardo. And uh, the second part, which is the part I was supposed to uh, deal with, is the part concerning 19th and uh, 20th century, which is considered a period of crisis in which uh, history seems to be over, the city seems to be at the very end, but actually the city was trying to react uh, against such a kind of crisis in very different century to become an industrial and a maritime uh, hub and uh, what we are dealing with uh, which is architecture and uh, art uh, well uh, reflected this attempt uh, to be a moving city, a city on the moon and not a dying city as the romantic literature uh, tends to uh, present, to introduce the city. VIU gives me the opportunity of speaking of Venice only. At the university, I'm supposed to teach in a more general way, speaking of history of architecture, urban history in a wider sense. But here, I can focus on Venice, and moreover, such a kind of course gives me the opportunity of making a kind of continuous interchange between the theoretical aspects and on the other side, uh, the direct contact with the buildings, with the, with the pieces of architecture, which are talking about. Uh, for a teacher, for an old teacher like me, this is a great opportunity to have such a kind of continuous vis-a-vis uh, -vis between uh, the theoretical side and uh, we can say not the practical, but the material side of architecture. Um, per, um, more in detail, uh, Isabella Leonardo, my colleague, is an historian of art uh, and she will speak uh, of uh, the 18th century. On the other side, I'm, I, I teach uh, history of architecture and I will deal with the 19th century uh, part of the course. The 19th century part of the course will be very uh, well expressed by a great number of places not only related to historical Venice, the island of Venice, mm -hmm. but also with outskirts of Venice, because Venice, starting from the end of the 19th century, tried to enlarge, uh, to stretch its dimension towards uh, uh, new parts, such as the Lido on the maritime side, or Mestre and Marghera on the 